Shafia from Motor Resort SG and today I will be driving on three road types that I've never driven on before while learning how to drive. They are the underground tunnels, expressways and roundabouts. Honestly, I'm very worried because I've never driven on these road types before. Just so, do it! Okay, so first up is driving in the expressway. Try to keep as close to the speed limit as possible. If you don't dare to drive at the speed limit, then go to the most left lane for a start. Next, always cruise on the second or third lane because the first lane is for overtaking. And if you're driving on the first lane and you see a car closing up to you from behind, common sense ah! Signal left and go to the second lane. Like what if the person has an emergency or wanna go pangsai? You know what I mean? Seriously guys, the road like you own it this is like the most common trigger for road rage man and touch wood ah, if your car breaks down on the expressway or in the tunnel try to keep as close as possible to the road shoulder turn on your hazard lights get out of your car use your car as a crash barrier and move away from the direction of the traffic and then you call LTA at 1-800 call LTA or go to the nearest SOS emergency phone to call for help. So as we enter to the tunnel, you will notice there's a long stretch of orange lights so that your eyes can adjust to the lightings in the tunnel. Oh yeah, please remember to turn on your headlights and tune in to a local radio station for LTA announcement in case of emergency. But honestly, nobody will tune in to their local radio station if they are on the iPod playlist. Be a man! Do the right thing! So the speed limit for most tunnels is 80 km per hour. Actually, our government very generous one. You see all these speed camera ahead signs? Screaming at us not to speed and stop donating money for nation building. But if you still cannot, you really deserve it, man. Though there are some speed cameras in the tunnel that are 70 km per hour like this one towards TPE and this one towards MCE. There's quite a lot of information on tunnel driving. I'll put the link in the description box below for you guys to read it. You know my phone is vibrating since just now. 8 missed calls from my boss! He missed me or what? Irritating sia! Let me just K him. Oh, don't worry guys. This is not handphone driving because there's three criteria for it to be handphone driving. The car needs to be moving, you need to hold your phone and then the third is you need to use at least one function. So right now the car is not moving so it's not considered as handphone driving. Oh shit. But if can try not to use your phone when driving lah. If not gonna horn, but he says yeah. You know, expressway driving and tunnel driving is actually a piece of cake, man. But this roundabout is the one that I fear the most. Just do it! Do it! Do it! There's no rules on how to navigate a roundabout. You just have to know and be wary of your surroundings. Which is what I suck at. This is the roundabout already. So how to go? Huh? Shit. The people have points. This is literally my third round in this roundabout. How come some exits have road markings, some don't have one? And how am I supposed to exit? Oh my god. Okay, after 50 rounds in this roundabout, I finally see a pattern. The cars on the most outer two lanes usually can turn left, but the car on the most outer lane can also go straight. So if you're on the most outer lane and you want to go straight, it is best to signal right and make sure the car on your right is not trying to exit to the left. So if you're on the second most outer lane and you're trying to exit, signal left and watch out for the car on your left in case they are trying to go straight. And voila! We are out of the circle! Thank you guys for watching today's episode of my P Plate series. That was more stressful than I thought. Driving on your own is really very different from learning how to drive with your driving instructor beside you. So I hope you guys learned something about driving in the tunnel, expressway and roundabouts. So don't forget to subscribe and tune in next week to find out what I'll be exploring next. In the meantime, don't forget to give me a friendly horn on the roads if you see me. Bye!